Hi, YouTube. Wait, do people say that? Sure. Hi, YouTube. This particular project is for him. So yes, it's how to build a trailer under five dollars. Under five dollars. First, what I want to talk about is uh, Bradley and his business that he started. So We're not advertising. Well, definitely not to YouTube because it's local yeah. only. Bradley started this lawn care business uh, in our neighborhood. The way he's currently doing it is he's got a garbage can a with all of his tools in it on a dolly. And additionally, then he has to haul a lawnmower around. But he's just walking down the road, house to house, dragging these tools uh, just like this. What he wanted was a the ability to haul it on a bike on some sort of utility trailer. Uh, we looked into some of those and they're very expensive. They're really hard to find on any sort of Craigslist or off We've been waiting for this. So this is a how to convert a kid's bike trailer into a utility trailer for this type of application. The idea, we need to fit the mower and all of these tools onto that trailer. So that's what we've got to accomplish. So let's check out the trailer. One of the very important things for us was this square tubing because we're going to actually weld some angle pieces onto this to, as part of the frame. So we gotta add to this frame. Right now what we need to do is we need to get it down to just the frame. So we're gonna take all of this stuff here off. All right, so the next thing we have to do is get our measurements for the mower to sit on. So what we have to do is determine the length of the wheels center to center so that I know the length that I'm building. So center to center, I'm about 27 inches. So if I go a little bigger than that and say like 30 inches, that's where I need to build the deck. So right now it's 31 inches. So it's actually not so super bad. The back wheel will stick out here a little bit and the front wheel is gonna drop down into a frame. But the frame that I'm building is actually gonna sit up here and I'm not using this down here. Angle aluminum pieces up here I'm welding to this so that I can build plates that the mower will roll up onto. And then once we get the deck done, we get the mower on here, we can determine the height that we need to create the next layer for the garbage can to sit on uh, before we go up even higher. So this will be a tall, skinny trailer holding all of this stuff. I'm going to use the angle aluminum overlapping the end here. I don't want to lip up on this one. The other end will have a lip up, but this side I want lip down. First cuts that I'll need to do are going to be that 26 inch width. Because I'm going to need a piece here and a piece on that end as well.
The trailer had powder coat material on it, so I gotta remove that powder coat off of the area where I'm gonna do the welding. So I'm just gonna use a wire wheel to knock that off. All right, I gotta cut some of these guys for here, 24 inches. I'm gonna attempt to weld it in the middle here, let that cool and then separate and go to both sides of this thing. I just need this as a support so it doesn't bow too much in the middle when the weight of the lawnmower rolls over it. Okay, these guys are still pretty hot. So the idea was that I'd be able to sandwich this in here. So basically I'm separating the ends because I only welded the middle portion of it. Like you can see it. This one, just to weld is here. The ends I did not weld so that I can actually pull these apart and sandwich around this place here. So, I can slide it into place and I should be able to heat these while it's standing up like this and it wouldn't fall. Today, I've decided I am not going to uh, weld onto this trailer because a big part of the problem that I'm having is that the gauging of the trailer itself is uh, about half, maybe even less than half, of the gauging of the uh, angles and stuff that I've bought at an eighth inch. So to heat this up hot enough that it would actually take this braze, uh, I'm causing warpage and even burnout on the, the even less or 16th of an inch here. So everything that goes on this trailer, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt to the trailer instead of this brazing. But for all the upper framing stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and braze that still. So let's jump into doing that now.
According to the trusty drawing here, we have to cut two more 30s to do these ones here. So to match those bottom ones, uh, we need a couple there. So I've got to do four 26s. So we'll throw those out real quick. We've got to do these 20s here. We'll do those next. We've got our 40s. We've got our two 30s, our four 26s, our two 21s, and two 20s. Okay, so we are mounting the tracks to the trailer. We are using flathead screws, we're drilling three plates, and using the counter sink to make it flush with the track. Just to have that little bit of space for the mower. And that's not good. Plus, for just in case purposes, we'll have straps over the top. We are cutting out a square inch so that it will sink and be flat with that part. For shopping, not not to just put it away. We did the build of this trailer more than a year ago now, um, so this closing to this video is long overdue. I just didn't get to editing the video until recently to post it on this channel. Bradley's been using this for a while now. He's been making him some money. 
Or at least it's been hauling stuff around so he can make some money. What's the con to this trailer build? Is that it's been pulling the tire off of my bike. That has to do with the weight that he's hauling and the fact that this is on his back tire and as he's pedaling and it does this, it loosens itself up. So if he doesn't pay attention to the fact that that tire is loosening, which he should be checking it like once every time that he hooks up the trailer, but he doesn't. And so what happens is that the tire breaks free and it starts getting loose on him and can even kick sideways and cause some hangups. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Yeah. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go down to the bottom, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our great videos. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one.